Hey Libra, this is your Astro Tarot reading for the month of February 2024, and this is going to be a month of creative energy exploding, having fun, being involved with entertainment and how you enjoy yourself and romance. This is going to be a marvelous time for you, Libra. But let me say, I have my four decks of tarot cards. My four decks of tarot cards. And let me just see what the message is. The first tarot message for you this month, Libra. What is the first tarot message for you this month? The ter first tarot message is live in large. Well, I guess so. <laughs> Why? Because you will have five planets. Five Five planets in your house of entertainment, romance, creativity, adventure. You know, uh, just, you know, just, you know, what you do for your recreation. Yes, living large means you are going to be living large because you're going to be having a lot of fun. Let's get some clarity cards on that. What might you be doing to have fun? Who might you be with to have fun? And what are the circumstances around you having fun, Libra? Okay, money, that means that you are going to be, you know, you're going to be living large, but you're going to be paying attention to your money. You're going to enjoy yourself, but not overly spend. Money is going to be important to you how you spend your money, but you're definitely going to have enough money to do what it is that you need to do. And let's just, you might be living large on a budget, okay? Living large on the budget. There's nothing wrong with that. And let's just see one thing, happiness. So happiness in the means that there's going to be some romantic situations, some family situations, some joy, wonderful things coming your way that's going to make you happy and very pleasant. This is going to be a month where you can let your hair down. Absolutely, let your hair down. And let me just say there's going to be a lot of ways to communicate this month because Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be in your house of creativity. Communications. Guess what? Love is very strong for you this month. The romance. You can really sit down and have a better understanding of your romantic situation. Maybe you need to take more time out to listen to the person you're with or to have them listen to you or have conversations about love. There's going to be a deeper desire to talk with the people around you to find out who they are and see what, if y'all are on the same, you know, on the same page when it comes to the plans and what it is that you desire. Absolutely. And I have my second deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the second message is for you, Libra. What is that second message? That second message is, here we go. Harmony. Yes, harmony. Okay, so harmony. So because you're going to be busy having entertainment, you're going to have your friends around you. This is going to be a great time to meet up with your friends, go out with your friends, have fun with your friends, hang out with your friends, spend money with your friends, and definitely eat and eat lots of food with your friends, okay? You might even decide to take a trip with your, with your friends or go see a friend. But there's going to be a lot of harmonious energy in your life. Let's get some clarity. What might bring you harmony in your life this month, Libra? Let's see. Well... The thing is, is that harmony in terms of being fair or fairness in your friendships, maybe you had a problem with someone and now that problem is being resolved and you need to go and see what's going on with your friend. Also, this is a card of making some kind of decision. Have you decided that, you know, maybe you fell out with a friend and you made a decision that, you know, the person is worth it and you're going to make things work or... You have decided that a person is bringing too much aggravation and drama in your life and you have decided to let them go and cut them off. Wow. You seek harmony this month. But let me just let you know that on the ninth, the new moon is going to bring a new direction in your, in, in the way you have your relationships, in the way you entertain yourself, in the way you have recreation. And guess what that means? You know, you are going to be very, we had mentioned before, you're going to be very mindful of how you spend your money. So, you know, staying sick into a budget is very important to you right now. You got plans, big plans for later in the year, and you need to hold on to your money and spend it in a better way. Also, one more thing, there can be a new direction in love. You know, you may decide that you are kind of fed up with the way things are going in a current relationship and you want something better and you want a new direction. Let's get some clarity regarding a new direction in love, a new direction in romance, a new direction 
and the way you are spending your money or using your money. Okay, let's see. All right, this card is saying that you are not taking, put it like this, nobody's going to push you around. If you have been in a power, you know, power struggle with somebody in love, or, you know, you feel as though you have to fight for what you want or nag for what you want, or time is to let it go, new moon, new direction. There are better ways to get what you want. Let's get another clarity card on that. If you have to fight for it, beg for it, it's not worth it, okay? Guess what? Boom, new love come, new love, new relationship. You're going to meet somebody new if that's what you want. And if you're in a relationship and you want to keep it, you may fight hard for it, but, but, the, the, but this card says that your attitude, their attitude, a new way to approach this relationship is there, and you may, may want to go and try to approach this relationship in a different way. And the reason for it is that on the 13th, Mars, the, uh, the, the planet of passion, enters into your house of romance. Oh, there's going to be more sizzle, more spice. More, you know, seductive energy between you and a special someone, a certain someone. And it's going to be putting more energy into romantic situations. You're going to take a trip, maybe plan a trip, go on a trip with somebody. Go see somebody. Let somebody know how you feel. You are not going to be uh, shy about anything that you want in love this month. Not at all. Love this month. And I'm going to tell you something. It's going to pay off because Venus, the planet of love and affection, is also in your house of recreation and romance. And it's going to be more affection, more sweetness. Love is going to be a priority to you. You're not going to have to work so hard for it because the person that you want to be with, guess what? They're going to be want to be with you. And an old love can return. Is there somebody from your past that you miss? Somebody from your past that you desire to come back? Well, guess what? There's a chance that that person will call you up, start looking for you, or you run into them. Very interesting. You can run into someone from your past this month. So my advice to you is to look good because there's no telling who you might run into, okay? Yes, Libra. And I have my third deck of tarot cards. My third deck. And let's see what the third message is for you, Libra. The third message for you is setting boundaries. Now, so setting boundaries. Setting boundaries where? Setting boundaries how? Setting boundaries, maybe, you know, you're in a situation and a person is walking all over you, over you in love and you need to set some boundaries. Or maybe it's setting boundaries in a friendship. You can be too good to somebody. They take you for granted. This could be with a family situation. You're too good for them. They take you for granted. Or they just assume you're going to do certain things and you need to set some boundaries and say, no, I did not promise to do that and I'm not going to do that. Okay? Let's get some clarity cards on this. Setting boundaries, how? And setting boundaries with whom? Who do you need to set boundaries with? Setting boundaries with, okay, because some sort of male figure in your life. Setting boundaries with arguments. You're not going to keep arguing with somebody and let them stress you the hell out. And setting boundaries. Why? Let's get one more. One more setting boundaries card. Setting boundaries regarding money. Oh, somebody could be trying to take advantage of you financially. Always asking for money. Always asking for a loan. Can you do this for me? I, can you do that for me? I'm a little short right now. Can you loan me some money? Guess what? You're going to set some boundaries and you're going to be happy that you did because on the 18th, the sun is going to enter into your house of employment and you're going to turn your attention on making some money. Your work situation, your work conditions. You know, how do you feel about your work? Do you like what you do for a living? Are you looking for a new job? Do you need to look for a new job? Your mind is going to be on your work. Your, your attention is going to be on your work. And yes, your mind will be on work too. Because on the 23rd, Mercury, the planet of communication and thought, enters into your house of employment. And you are going to start asking for what you want. Asking for a raise. Asking for better hours. Asking for better conditions. Maybe talking to your boss a little bit more. You know, get in a better relationship. And guess what? You're going to start trying to treat your body. It's like... You know what? I need to treat my body better. I need to start that diet. I need to go ahead and start exercising. This is going to be heavy on your mind. Better treatment of your body and better treatment of your work conditions and better treatment of how you allow things to stress you out. Stress you out. And I have my fourth deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the fourth message is for you, Libra. What is that fourth message? 
That fourth message is success. Well, okay. Success is definitely coming your way this month. And you know, we had just talked about the job. Maybe there's going to be a successful situation happening on your job regarding your work. Maybe it's going to be success about love. Maybe it's going to be success about bringing something into your life to change the direction of your life. Let's get some clarity on that. What is it that's going to bring some success in your life this month? What is it? Money. You're going to, and it's not a lot of money, but it is definitely of some kind of financial increase. More money is going to come your way. A raise, maybe a promotion, or another avenue of revenue that you're going to find. But you're going to be successful in increasing your finances this month. And let me just say, on the 24th, there's going to be a full moon. That full moon is going to hit your house of privacy. It's going to increase your intuition. Yes. You are going to be able to sit down and figure stuff out through the spirit. Your spirit guides, your angels are going to talk to you. They're going to let you know something is not right. You need to do this. You need to do that. Something can be revealed in your relationship too. Something that's been hidden can come your way. You can have a change of heart and love. Someone that you fall, you have fallen in love with, you find out something and guess what? Change your heart. You say, oh no, I've had enough of this. I don't need this. Or a person that you haven't given much time or interest to, you discover this is the best person for you. And guess what? It's going to, this is a money car. Your money can increase. And there's definitely more success if you use the intuition information coming your way from your angels this full moon. This full moon. All right, Libra. So this has been your reading. But guess what? Valentine's Day is coming up. And let's see what's happening around Valentine's Day. Now listen. The planets have not been great around Valentine's Day. All right? They have not been great around Valentine's Day. They're not great. So... Let's just see if there's a message for you. Message for you. And one more thing I want to say. You know, I like doing these videos. If you'd like to see more of these videos, go ahead, click like, and subscribe to me. Go to KimAllen.com to schedule a reading. Let me let you know what's going on in your chart, okay? But here is your love reading for Valentine's Day. Libra, your love reading for Valentine's Day. Here we go. Applause. Well, what does that mean? That means that whatever you do with your significant other, they're going to have a great time. They're going to say, wow, that was great. The dinner, the plans, the this or the that, the gift, or just the time you spent, the effort that you put into making Valentine's Day special for someone, or maybe just for your friends or yourself. It's going to be a great time. You're going to have a great Valentine's Day, Libra, a great Valentine's Day. So listen. This was your Astro Tarot reading for the month of February. And you can go to KimAllen.com to schedule a reading. And if you like what you've seen, go ahead, click like, and subscribe. Have a wonderful month.